Okay, so it's 4, uh, 4 or 6 p.m. We just turned over to 4 or 7. Tuesday, 17th October 2017. Oh, okay, let me uh, check if the audio works. Okay, the audio seems to be working. So, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna get myself ready. I washed, I washed with antibacterial soap, liquid soap, is what it uh, works with. Mm. So I'm gonna ready um, <coughs> to go to the uh, class. I'm getting ready to go to the class. Got up at five. Uh, did, did some of my routines. Did my job search. Did a uh, voice practice, but I, unfortunately I didn't do my studies. Oh, I want to do that. <clears throat> I've set myself a very uh, demanding schedule for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't take a shower tomorrow because my schedule is very demanding. So I have to take a shower on Thursday. Thursday. Unless I can uh, move it around. Maybe I could fit a shower in there somewhere, half an hour. Maybe I could. So I'm managing my time and my life with my schedule and my calendar program. I've seen this video where this person was talking about doing exactly what I'm doing. Uh, but she's using Google Calendar. Uh, and I don't know, maybe Google Calendar sounds good. But I use the calendar on the Mac. Uh, I don't know if there's any real benefit, I don't know, the, the Mac program seems to do what I needed to do. Oh, I did uh, clean my earrings on Sunday, that's good. Oh, it was just horrible, there was all this gunk and uh, gunk in there, it's like, oh, it's just disgusting. <sighs> oh my god, it's so disgusting, but thank goodness I, I cleaned my earrings, I took them out and I Took about 40 minutes. Jeez. It was, you know, took a while because I had to use the, the pin, safety pin to get rid of all that stuff. And I uh, clipped my nails, toenails and fingernails. I did a bit of grooming on Sunday. So I cook my veggie stew. Oh yeah, my I, I I can weigh myself. Like very often when I weighed myself, I was like sixty two, and yesterday sixty three. Then today after I ate my food sixty four. So I think I'm I've really lost maybe five kilos. Tomorrow morning I want to get up and you know, after I use the toilet, I'm I'm gonna, in like in like in the morning morning. Um, I'm gonna weigh myself. Um, so I, because my median before was like 66, 65, now it's like 62, I think, you know, I might have, because of, you know, my diet, which is very like strict, you know, I think I have lost some weight. I've also started doing exercises, like five minutes, just stretching, I, you know, after in, it's in my, I include it as part of my morning routine. I'm starting with five minutes stretching in there. Mm. I still have the anal fissure problem. Oh no. Uh, I'm scared of getting.
kids. And, oh, fuck. I, I don't even know you. That's, that's not a joke. It's fucking serious. Oh, hey, I'm just thinking about life and, uh, you know, I don't know in, this, in this world, it's like everything is so competitive. It's like the jobs are competitive. Everything is so competitive. And I'm like, maybe that's why I can't get a job is because I don't have that competitive mindset. Like, so because I don't have it, it's like, maybe that's why I'm not getting a job. Because I can't do the rat race thing. Mm. I'm trying to find a job there, which is like, where people do the job to help other people, not to just make a money. Uh, there was this organization I saw a job at. It was like uh, something like that. You're helping people. Mm. That might be a place to work. It was as a process worker, but you know, like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know if, 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 the, if the people are nice. You know, and the environment is nice. And it's a, I think that's, for me, that's like a very good thing. The environment and the people and the atmosphere and the values of the organization, those are important. You know, if it's like a community-minded organization, that might be something I would want. I would, uh, you know, that would uh, sway me. You know. So I've been applying to a lot of legal assistant, paralegal, or jobs like that. Legal secretary. Mm. I've been. I basically. Uh, I, uh, I'm pretty uh, straightforward in my applications. I'm unemployed. I'm looking for work. This is my, you know. Like uh, I rather let them know my. I don't, I don't give them my whole life history, but I keep it very brief. My cover letter is very brief. This is what I'm, I have some experience working in a community legal center. I like to get uh, work experience uh, in a legal field and you know, I'm just basically what I want to. Mm. Because um, I'd rather let them know what my situation is and then because who knows I might not be a match for their organization and uh, you know you know and then who and then maybe in other cases they may be you're the you're exactly the person we're looking for <laughs> um uh. I was thinking, I was looking into getting private health insurance uh, because, you know, because I'm concerned that I might have to get a colonoscopy and I don't want to wait and things. But my mom just uh, told me it's not worth it. Like, she just dropped her private health insurance. Because in Australia, it's like, uh, the, you don't, like, the health care is free, but you have to wait. There's a waiting list. So if you're going into a public, well, which is good, I mean, you know, it's better than having to pay for it, which is so expensive. Um, so I'm not complaining too much. But, um, yeah, so the benefits of having private health insurance is that uh, you go to, you still have to pay some money, I think. But uh, I think the government subsidizes 25%. And then you have to pay a certain amount and the health insurance will pay a certain amount. Something something like that, I don't know. It's something like that. But then, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do the public thing for now. I think I'll do the private health insurance once I actually get, have work. 
because then it might be more appropriate like because right now I just I don't have a, a like a an employment mm. uh, all my money comes from Centrelink and uh, mm. Mm -hmm. I haven't been doing enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. Enough. 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 enough, enough. Oh, I saw a video where, about making a vegan chocolate cake, and I'm like, oh, I really want to make a vegan cake. For my, I want to. I want to actually learn how to cook. Like, I feel like that's something I would like to do, for like a hobby. I want, to, I want to learn how to cook tasty food. Well, every now and then I'll be like, oh, I can make a cake, or I can make, you know, I want to make it all vegan, but, you know, I'll make some tasty food, and I think mean, that'll be so nice. It'll be fun. That'll be a fun thing to do. I, I think I want to start with the basic cake. I want to make a carrot cake, for sure. But I want to first start off, okay, how do I make a simple, like, beginner's vegan cake? And then I will, um, so I'll start with the simple thing because i might have to you know get the specific utensils like uh, for making cakes so i want to get the basics down first and then and then i'll go to more advanced things like chocolate cake carrot cake mm, i love carrot cakes i think they're very tasty mm. Mm, Sort of like a uh, this is why we need a lip liner. Oh, I gotta, I gotta set up the makeup box. I still haven't done that. Again, today I banged into it. <laughs> How many times have I banged into that? Like I hit it with my leg, and it's like, oh Jesus, I'm always crashing into that makeup box. Oh, I did pluck my eyebrows a little bit, so that was good. That was nice. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Should I? Oh, yep. Mm, my yawning is back. Mm. Oh. Yes, my yawning. My yawning. <clears throat> See, my hair is very oily. It's oily because of the coconut oil which I put on my face. Sometimes when I brush my hair, when I with my fingers, the, the, the oil from my um, this area might go onto my hair, and that's why my hair is slightly oily. It might be good. It might be good for the hair to be slightly oily. I don't know if it might be. It might be good. It might be good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that parting is good. <laughs> I don't know if it is. Oh, my God. Scared thing is like the it's like a oh this is very I'm tired oh, oh, yes. oh god anyway um Go the other way, is thing. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> yes, I better. I am patiently working on my voice, and uh, uh, you know, I'm going to copy this, these files from uh, 
Good old ride in my USB. What the hell? All right, let me just delete this one. Um, let me copy this. Oh, current. Yes, current. Let's copy the current into the yeah. USB. Five hundred and nine point four megabytes. Yeah, for my hairstyle, I'll allow my, I'll give myself, you know, more time for the hair to grow. Like you know, especially these balding areas, which are sort of like growing back. <coughs> I've noticed that um, I've seen, ever since I've been eating well, like consistently eating vegetables, you know, most of it, I feel like my hair has gotten a little bit more, like there's a bit more hair growth. Uh, you know, I feel like it's sort of, it's sort of been, I've noticed like it is put, like, you know, like the hair has been growing a bit better, like, you know, and, and there's less hair falling out, also I've noticed. Less hair falling out and there is more hair, like I feel like the hair growth is like, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's sort of like going well. You know, I felt, I felt like before it was stalled or something, or growing very slowly, but now it's like, you know, see, see it's like, uh, you know, see, see that um, part over there? This, whole, this area, yeah. I feel like it's, and it's also like I've noticed like um, around here also, like like area like this area, all these little hair things are coming, and and this side has always been a bit better. Um, you know, it's always it's been a bit more like um, yeah, so. So I feel like uh, you know I think uh, diet is important. You know the. Having a good diet is important for hair growth. So hopefully that continues, and you know, so I'm hopeful, hoping that, that that gets better and there's more hair. Uh, in due time. Okay, let me eject this uh, USB thing. Oh, good. All right, so I'll, it's 4:24 p.m. My view. Head out around 4:40 p.m. No, I scheduled it into the, the travel time. Uh, yeah, tomorrow is a very busy day. I wonder if I can schedule in a <laughs> schedule in a shower. I guess I could move my time management from 9:30 to 3:30. Hmm. I, could, I guess I could. I could try that. And then, then that means I, I could take a shower. Oh, oh, maybe I could do a 30 minutes job search. Yes, I could do a 30 minute job search instead of 60 minutes and take a shower at, at, at 1. That means 1.30 I do, I get ready. I, can, I think I will do that. I will, I will do a job search between 12.30 and 1 and then 1 I will take a shower. I don't, you know, I have I have these, these packed schedules but the, the, that doesn't mean that I always follow them. They're like sometimes, I, depending on the day, if I feel tired, I just move it around or I, I, I cancel it, <laughs> you know. So the, that's the that's the goal for tomorrow. But tomorrow, as, as the day progresses, I will update the schedule, uh, like uh, move things around if I need to or remove things. Uh, but the, at the end of the day, the schedule will record what I actually accomplished. But tomorrow, I've set myself a lot of things to do. Hopefully, I can do them. Hopefully, I'll try to do them. But... <sighs> anyway, all right. Anyway. So it's 5.06 p.m. So it takes me around 25 minutes to... Because I left at uh, 5... Uh, 439 so that's uh, 27 minutes <laughs> 21 plus 6 is 27 minutes so about half an hour half an hour give or take to get here yeah, so it seems to be around right hey uh, it's a bit uh, warm 
It's warm. It is warm. Look, I'm swimming. Look at that. There are these, these, these sweat things warming on my forehead. I'm sweaty. We might have a full class today. Three hours. I have to submit an assessment tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can get that done. Like I have to see a YouTube video um, on customer service and respond to some questions like how, what, 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 how did this person treat this person? And, uh, yeah, anyway, something like that. Uh, can relax. Oh, it's 7.40, uh, what is it, PM? Oh, well, everyone started leaving one by one and <laughs> I was I was in there just doing the work oh, I guess people started leaving so it's like only me and someone else who I decided to leave <laughs> because <laughs> everyone else started leaving and we just doing the work and oh I died it's been you know, two hours about two hours doing my assignment which was uh, quite productive at least time I get to go home a bit early. And um, anyway, so yeah, going home and uh, eat my veggie stew. It wasn't a fun experience being here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway. Okay, so it's 1.47 p.m. Wednesday, 18th of October 2016. Ah, oh, 2017. Anyway, I didn't close the program down, so I have to check if the audio is recording properly. Okay, 1.48 p.m. The audio seems to be, seems to be recording properly. So I'm getting ready to go to the job agency. Uh, with my appointment with my employment consultant. Um, I hope it's going to go okay. I hope there isn't any stress. Uh, so I was a bit. Uh, I got up at five a.m. <clears throat> I did. I did my. I, mean, I did some studies. I did my voice practice. I cooked the veggies too. I did take a shower. I took a shower. I washed my hair. Shaved, um, so and I just obviously uh, while the uh, veggie stew is cooking, cooking I uh, tried to take a nap, rest a little, you know. Forget that. I'll, I'll order it today. I also need to reschedule my electrolysis because I want it after November 22nd because my classes finish at November 22nd for the year. So I want that rescheduled.
if I'm not talking, I don't know, I just feel tired. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, I'm just lost in my own thoughts. I'm lost in my own thoughts. I don't know. Oh. No, I was thinking about that later. The vacation starts on November 22nd. So how does this factor in with my work for the dole thing? I mean, for a whole month, I won't be going to classes. And I should, I should let her know that. Hey, the, se the semester finishes at November 22nd. What do I do then? Oh, sorry. Oh, my mom can drop me, so that's good. I don't have to drive. The horror of driving. Yeah, I do, do my exercises five minutes in the morning. Yeah. Oh, I took my weight today in the morning at around 5.20. I'm 61.2. Actually, with the clothes on, it was 61.5. But when I took the clothes off, you know, you know undies and now. Um, that's how I usually weigh. Um... I had my undies on, so <laughs> so, anyway. so um, the weight was 61.2 kilos. I am 61.2. Oh my God, I did, I have a lot, like, last time I used to measure, it was like 65, 66, 67. It was like, I was so, so I think it's the diet. It's the, you know, the, the strict diet of only two meals a day, morning, breakfast, and dinner. I think it's the diet, which is um, um yeah, helping me lose the weight. That's good. So I, I was like, oh, I was, I was much pleased with that weight number. It's like sixty-one point two. Wow, that is so cool. Oh. That is so cool. Ooh, I should use some concealer because I've got all these spots in here. It's like all the pimples. And, I mean, they, they, they exploded. Yeah, the, the old pimples. They, 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 they tend to leave scars or something. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Mm -hmm. It should be alright. It should be alright. Uh, I, I won't put any lipstick because uh, it's not necessary. Uh, I did wash my hair. Oh, she's like in yawning, yawning, yawning. check like which days I had the um, appointments I had lost on the 11th I had that appointment and on the wait a minute oh on the 10th I had that phone interview yeah um okay mm -hmm. oh. oh I could mention that if she asked me 
How's your job search going? Well, I had a phone interview and, 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 and I did a, you know, but they haven't called me back. They haven't called me back. Mm. Oh, okay. So. Oh, man. I'm just wearing my pants, my jeans thing. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm wearing. This hairstyle is so bad. It is bad. So bad. Yeah, but I'm gonna let it grow. I'm gonna let it grow. Okay, so uh, I'll be going. I'll be leaving now, and uh, hopefully the appointment is okay. And uh, yeah, anyway. Take a nap and then um, what do I do? Um, yeah, I've got to drive to the class. I really hate driving. Oh. The appointment went okay. Uh, she wanted me to email the jobs I applied so far because she couldn't access it from the online thing so I said oh I offered to email it I already applied for 14 jobs because I've been applying it almost every day um, so that's good I should I have to apply 16 every month but I've already applied for 14 because I didn't do any job search today I could do it now, but oh, I think I should take a rest before going to the class. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. Is that procrastination? Oh no, I should not do that. Procrastination is not good. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, Oh, it's 4.22 p.m. Oh, I had a little bit of a nap, which was good. Um, I'm just going to touch up my makeup. I changed into a, a skirt and I haven't worn this top in a while. Yes, I don't know what this is. I feel, I feel like, I feel embarrassed with myself, ashamed, because I don't have a job and I've been unemployed for a long time. I feel kind of ashamed. It's like, um, you know, I asked, uh, 
my employment consultant, you know, I, I talked about, I mentioned the fact that my course in, you know, the semester ends in November 22nd. And, uh, oh shit, there's no light in this room. I was taking a nap, so there was no. Uh, yeah, so I mentioned that, and um, <clears throat> uh, and then she said, oh, oh, we'll deal with that when we get to it. She said, we will deal with that when we get to it. And then I thought to myself, oh, yeah. Um, whatever, you know, because the, because the aim is for me to get a job. Right, so if I get a job, then I would have to deal with that. Um, and it just made me feel like, oh shit! So you have no intention of getting work? Is that it? No, 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 no. Well, that's the thing, you know. That's why I felt ashamed. I felt ashamed because I felt like. I am trying to live my life off social security. <laughs> I'm not. I, it's an inappropriate laugh, but it's it's. Anyway, um, I, it just it just occurred to me like, you know, it's like a, it's so much shameful, um, you know, to live of social security you know because social security is supposed to be a temporary thing you know it shouldn't be a, 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 a. but then again they talk about this universal minimum wage you know I support the universal minimum wage I think I think every human being should have a basic income so they can live I would support that <laughs> so so I don't, yeah, so I, so I would think a universal, like, a basic income for everyone. I think that should be a good thing, you know. Why should people starve and be homeless? You know, there's just so much money in, in, in like, in, in all these places. And so, so, I'm thinking, but, but the thing is, like, in the current context, uh, Social Security, they may they present it as a temporary thing and I, I don't know I guess thinking about the universal minimum wage that makes me feel less bad um, but in this system the way they have set it up is like they, they, they kind of shame people who are on benefits and I guess I sort of bought into that shame that feeling of you should be ashamed of yourself because you're on welfare. Um, I mean, being on welfare isn't fun. You don't get to, the, the money isn't like, yeah, for me, okay, I, 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 you know, I paid my rent yesterday and, you know, okay, but right now, okay, I'm not struggling, but if I had to live like without, you know, support of my mom and brother, then I would be like struggling. Uh, you know so um so i guess that, that my shame was kind of misplaced because if because there is this rip narrative the government presents like oh you know dull bludger welfare you know like they have that narrative where they try to shame people on welfare but you know i'm not saying being on welfare is a good thing but I don't think you should shame people, you know, because some people can't get a job for lots of reasons, you know. So, yeah, I guess I bought into that narrative and was feeling the shame. <laughs> so I feel less bad now talking about it, talking about it and thinking it out loud. But I do want to get a job for me, um, for me, for my own you know life and stuff 
Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I support universal uh, a minimum wage, uh, you know, thing. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go. She didn't, you know, my employment agent. Did, uh, she didn't say anything, but I felt it, like you know, because they have this, they have this, this talking points like, you're here to get look for a job. You, they have this thing they say. I'm like, oh, come on, just stop, stop making people on welfare already feel who are already probably low feel even more shitty. <laughs> trying to stop trying to shame people. Oh my god, that's just the. The, the narcissistic abuse of the system <laughs> of the <laughs> of the bureaucracy uh, so I guess I guess I have to be aware of that yeah. uh, mm. anyway so uh, yeah so I'm wearing this thing I haven't worn this in a while like this this thing's got a nice style over here and yeah, so I thought the color combination was good. You know, I was gonna wear the red top, but then oh, the red, red, and this color was like it's kind of clashing. I thought, but this grayish green sort of was going well. Anyway, it's four thirty p.m. I will sign off now, and I have to go to class. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so it's five oh eight or five oh nine p.m. Just got here to the to the place. Oh, shit. Oh, I gotta shave. <laughs> um, oh man. Um, so yesterday when I was trying to get the car, when I was going home, I was trying to get the car out of the um parking. And usually I park right in the front, so all I have to do is just all I have to do is just drive the car out. But this time I had to do a reverse, uh, like you know, reverse the car out, and I was stuck. I just couldn't. I just didn't, I think I spent almost what seemed like ten minutes trying to get the car out. I'll just because I thought I was going to hit the car on the left, or I was going to hit the car on the back, so I would just. <laughs> I would just move a little bit, get out of the car, go in the front and go in the back, check, go back and move a little bit again, get out and do it again. I think I did it like that about three or four times. When, when I was getting the car out, this, this other car came and, I, and then I had to go back in again. And that car just sped off or something, I don't know. Um, then I had to try it again. I thought like, oh my God, I'm going to be stuck here. I'm going to be stuck. But I eventually managed to get the car out. It's like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I think my mom would have gotten the car out, but I just, I just, I haven't, like, uh, I don't know. I just don't know where the front of the car is. And I used to drive the car a lot, but now I don't, and I'm just not very confident with the... Like the, no, like, I don't know where, how much distance is actually there between the car on that side and on the back. I, you know, I, was, I don't know. I probably need more practice. Like, uh, I have a license. I should know these things. But I was like, uh, I mean, I know how to, I know the, what to do, but it's like, uh, you know, you do more practice or something, but anyway, <laughs> oh, man. oh shit, anyway, that's painful, uh, are they going to take my license, is someone going to see this video and say, report me to the RTA, and they'll be like, hey, we, we saw a video where you're saying you can't reverse, is this true? Do they do things like that? Uh, am I being paranoid? Uh, I did pass my license. I did uh, do all that. Uh, three point. Uh, you know that. 
the parallel parking thing and yeah. I got my license on my third try. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, gonna relax a bit now. Uh, it's hot. So it's um, 8 20 pm. It's quite windy. So I did a lot of work <laughs> doing my assessment. So that was good. Um, so I'm going home now. the window. Oh, I don't know. Reflection. <laughs> Reflection. Uh, it is windy. It's slightly cold. Oh, thankfully I can get this car out. It's right in the front. Oh. <gasps> All right. Going home. <laughs>